Why do some implants take four to six months and some implants can be done in one day? Okay, let's address this question because it is a common one and it's, it's misunderstood a lot. So, dental implant in general, no matter where it goes in the body, in general takes somewhere between, let's say, three to six months on average to integrate to your jawbone. That, that biology is biology, whether it's in me or it's in you. Typically, three to six months for integration, really a full year before it really becomes solid. And that depends on how hard or how soft your bone is. So where the rules are a bit different or the techniques are, when you're replacing just a single center front tooth or a one back tooth or maybe just a section of teeth, typically those teeth you do not want to do, you don't want to go fast on those. You don't want to put the final teeth on too quickly because there's only one anchor that's supporting all of the weight. So especially if you've had to have bone grafting, that's often done as a separate procedure, or maybe in conjunction with the implant, or the bone graft and the implant, things just got to kind of sit. Imagine if your arm was broken in half, you know, you'd put a cast on your arm to hold those two pieces together, and you certainly want to, wouldn't want to move it at all or pull it apart, because then the bone wouldn't heal. So same thing in the mouth. If you chew on the implant, it's going to move microscopically, or maybe a lot, and it's just not going to take. The bone is going to break. Your arm is not going to heal. So when you have one or two implants, especially on one side, then it's, it can't, the force that's coming down on it is too high and the implant can go like this and it's, and that force happens. So the difference is when I do a full arch replacement, I'm getting somebody teeth, you know, within 24 hours, I'm taking out all of their teeth or what's left of them. And maybe they haven't had teeth since they were 18 years old and putting in zygomatic dental implants or pterygoid implants or the full lower, the full upper. And they're all going in at once, all one surgery, all bone graft, everything all at once. How, why, how is it that I can put teeth on those right away or within a day and the other one I got to wait for four or five months? That's because on, I'm going to use this headset here, but on the jaw shape like an arch, right? So if I put in one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, four to six implants across this arch, and then I link them together with a rigid bridge, all of a sudden, it can't move anymore. It's very stable. So it's like a triple cast or, you know, four or five casts preventing movement. Of course, you have to be on a soft diet. But this art, an arch in general, just in um, building and architecture, has a very strong, um, sturdy, you know, method of holding things. That's why they build buildings in arches like this. So when you have an arch of implants, then teeth can go on right away and you can even chew on them. Yes, it's a very soft diet. Um, let's, let's, and you still need that three to six months for things to integrate. Maybe you have osteoporosis or you take some medicines that slow you down or you're mild diabetic that we need to give some more time or maybe you smoke or vape, which you shouldn't, right? Having implants done and you have a higher risk of failure or take a certain antidepressants then you know those all increase the risk but if we've got solid implants into medium to hard bone then you can have teeth right away so in the back of the mouth where our force is really high in the back that's not an area that you want to put teeth on right away because it's not protected at all not protected by the bite in the front of the mouth of course all the time we I take out teeth I put implants in and I make the temporary tooth right on it. And then I say, don't chew on it. Leave it alone. Nothing. Everything you bite and chew goes on your back teeth. So even though we have the look of a temporary crown, I've made it so when you bite down, nothing touches at all. But you have to be diligent and compliant that you're not chewing on it at all. Zero. Zilch you know, for that first three to six months, four months is usually the magic number. Um, and that allows us to uh, let heal and make it work. Just do your part. But that's really the main difference. Full arch, um, harder bone, multiple implants connected to each other on a splinted arch versus, you know, single 
implants, high force, the broken bone with the cast. You're now picking up the groceries with the broken bone. And just not a good idea, right? And softer bone, higher risk, harder bone, better. I mean, much better for implants. The hardest bone is not good because it doesn't have any blood in it. It's kind of like um, soil that's not very fertile. You can't plant like a dry lake bed. And that's just the opposite. We don't, we don't find that too much. Maybe 5% of the time we call that D1 bone. And again, this is, is very patient specific, very precise choices how this is done. And each case is very unique. It's not just a cookbook catch-all, although I do know uh, colleagues that everybody gets the same thing over and over. And there are some uh, clinics that advertise just everybody gets the same thing regardless of who you are. It's, um, you're all the same, apparently. That's not the case. So uh, a little humor in there. Thank you so much, Dr. Ramsey Amin. I'm in Burbank, California. And this is the blog on BurbankDentalImplants.com. And we've just finished covering why implants are done in one day versus four to six months or even a year. So thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.